It seems like the last three to five years, gay relations within the United States have been plummeting. And there's a clear answer why. The TQ+. The LGB has nothing to do with the TQ plus community. The LGB is strictly biology and sexuality, and the TQ plus is all identity and expression of the personality. They have nothing to do with each other. It's hard making sense of the world that we live in today when the TQ plus is saying women have bulges. We all just normalize women having bulges sometimes. Biological men don't exist. There's no such thing as biological men. That's not a real thing. That is a transphobic dog whistle. And we can't even define what a woman is. What is a woman? I don't think it's like defined. I think if somebody identifies as a woman, then they are a woman. Speaking of making sense of the world we live in, I want to thank Atlas VPN for protecting me in the online world that we live in. And not just me, but you too. For a limited time, you can enjoy the most affordable online protection for just $1.83 a month, plus an additional three months and a 30 day money back guarantee by clicking the link in the description below. So what's a VPN? It's a virtual private network, which makes all of your internet traffic travel through a protected and encrypted tunnel. Why would you get one? Well, if you take your privacy seriously and you don't want hackers or the feds all up in your info, then Atlas VPN is for you. And to be honest, I always thought that VPNs were just for computers, but they're not. They're on your phones too. You want to watch something on Netflix, but it's restricted in your country due to licensing rights? Atlas VPN. You want to protect yourself from tabs just being open and malware infecting your computer? Atlas VPN. It's super quick and easy to set up both on your laptop and your computer because you have unlimited devices. And for $1.83 a month and a 30 day money back guarantee, you truly can't beat it. So if you want to try it out and take advantage of this huge deal, be sure to click the link in the description below and take advantage of this limited time offer. Thank you Atlas VPN again for sponsoring today's video. The LGB has nothing to do with the TQ+. The LGB is sexuality and the TQ+, is identity. You can't deny that these are two completely separate groups. One has everything to do with who someone is with, and another has everything to do with how that person presents themselves, what their personality is like, if they're suffering gender dysphoria, a whole ball of things. And don't forget TQ+, plus, that plus being an additional thing that just keep adding to the list. LGB, clearly defined, we know what it is, we know what it stands for, and it's done. The TQ+, plus is not. And on that note, biology matters. There's male and there's female, and the LGB is rooted and depends on biology to even exist. The definition of a homosexual is to be sexually attracted to one's own sex. The definition of a heterosexual is to be attracted to the opposite sex. The definition of bisexuality is to be attracted it to both sexes. Again, male and female. Sex is biology. It's not about culture. It's not how someone presents themselves. It's not about what gender someone says they are. It's literally biology. The only way you can change this is by creating new words and changing the definition. And that's exactly what the TQ plus side of things are doing. The Erasure of Women Content creator Savannah Edwards summed this up really well. The use of cisgender terms has nothing to do with male and female. It has everything to do with affirming a trans person's identity. In order for the phrase trans women are women to make sense, you have to change what woman means. Let's dive into this. So we have female, which is a biological woman. And then you have a girl, which is a biological female child. And then you have a woman, which is a biological female adult very cut and dry it's been this way for forever but now we have a cis woman which is a biological woman that identifies as a woman and you have trans woman which is a biological man that identifies as a woman and we've effectively turned woman into an identity and we've stripped biology away from that including female so female isn't even biology anymore it's just an identity and the problem that we have is we have a growing subset of biological women just women that's what we used to call them women getting upset because they are not an identity being a woman is not an identity it's their reality this is their real life they are a woman being a woman and being a female is not about an identity it is their existence this is why some women find offense with Dylan Mulvaney, because Dylan Mulvaney started their career making a mockery off of every woman and all the stereotypes that they have. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times, I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. How'd I do, ladies? Good? Girl power. This is why some women find offense to the growing amount of trans women saying that they experience a period. My period I experience every month is very real. Why? 
I think the really crappy thing about having a period every month. This is why some women find it an offense to be called a chest feeder and a birthing person. Quote, birthing people. I've never heard the term before. Can you explain what it means? There are certain uh, people who do not uh, have uh, gender identities that apply to female or male. And uh, so we think our language needs to be more inclusive in how we deal with complex issues. The TQ Plus is demanding to be accepted and validated all at the expense of biological women. And that's exactly what JK Rowling was talking about. Her tweet stated, if sex isn't real, then there's no same sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and I love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. And like she said, we want to meaningfully discuss these topics. We want to be loving, we want to be respectful. This is about making sense of the world that we live in today. The TQ Plus community is effectively changing definitions and meanings, all while calling anyone transphobic if they question it or don't understand it. The erasure of gays. The TQ Plus is telling me that men can be women and women can be men. Okay, then what does that make me as a gay man? As a gay man, that's gay because he does not like vagina, he likes penis. What am I supposed to do when I'm confronted with someone that's claiming to be a man but has a vagina? I'm not transphobic for not wanting to be with a vagina. I'm gay for a reason. We have definitions and meanings and words for a reason. It's literally 2023 and you have lesbians being kicked off of lesbian dating apps for being transphobic for not wanting to be with someone who has a penis. We are a platform for all lesbians, trans lesbian, non-binary lesbians. You are all part of our lesbian community. Let that sink in. You have lesbians being kicked off of lesbian dating apps because they're being transphobic for not wanting to be with trans women who have penises. This is what I was saying about the LGB being different from the TQ+. The LGB relies on biology and the TQ+, is all identity. And they are changing definitions and meanings. Being gay doesn't even mean liking penis anymore. It just means liking men. But I'm gay because I don't like vagina. Like, I don't... Oh, I, I don't understand the world that we're living in today. And if you're still watching this, I applaud you because this shit is mental gymnastics. Because we truly can't, I always say this, we cannot defend something we can't define. Everyone is confused. Like I said before, the LGB is very clear and concise and easy to understand. We have the definitions, we understand what it means to be a lesbian, a gay person, or a bi person. Cut and dry, done. The TQ+, plus, we have no idea. It is forever changing. It is forever growing. LGBTQ plus community is way too big, way too overdrawn, and it does not speak for all LGB people. This is why you have a growing subset of them speaking up and speaking out against this. And people say that we can't separate the LGB from the TQ plus because trans people are at the forefront for fighting for LGB rights. I get it, but here's the deal. Just because a group of people did something good does not mean that group needs to be praised for eternity. We all love NASA and space exploration, but I don't see us praising the group who created it. With this TQ plus community, if anybody can be anything at a moment's notice, what is the point of anything? You got people claiming to be tri-gender. I am tri-gender, which means like a triangle, I have three genders, male, female, and non-binary. And we've already discussed this in a separate video, but you got the TQ Plus pushing themselves on children and transitioning children. A new inclusive. If you're trans, then that's fine. You're a grown adult, do what you want, but you need to acknowledge what you are. You can't force the entire world to affirm your identity and say, yes, if you are a trans woman, you are a woman. No, you are transitioning for a reason. Let's be real here. And I'm not gonna sit here and be called transphobic because I don't wanna be with a man who has a vagina. Let's cut the crap. When words lose their meaning, it is very easy for society to crumble. We can't function in a society if we're not even having conversations. And to have a conversation is to have a basic understanding of what the words mean so that you can actually converse and talk to one another. But again, we can't do that if we're destroying language and what words even mean to begin with. So be sure to subscribe because I do have a video coming out on this very soon. I just want to respect biology, common sense, and rational conversations. That's all I want. And am I trying to be hateful? No. Are a lot of us trying to be hateful? No. It's just the LGB is completely fed up and tired of being lumped into everything that the TQ plus community is doing. Even when you look at these websites like Glinson and HRC, a lot of the LGBTQ initiatives have everything to do with the TQ plus. I've talked about my concerns, I've talked about my problems with the trans kids, but 
this one's a big one because the LGB keeps getting lumped into the TQ plus and that plus is so dangerous because think people are just adding things to it and it's just being accepted and okay and I don't want any part of that and there's a lot of LGB people who feel the same way so as always thank you for taking the time to watch this video it means the world to me to have your support make sure to subscribe turn on bell notifications and like this video it helps me out a ton and let me know your thoughts below i would love to know your opinion on the lgb versus the tq plus and any other ideas air topics that you would love to hear me talk about as always make sure that you're going out there becoming the best version of yourself and understand that no one's going to change your world for you much love and i'll see you in the next video deuces